Well, it was at Bob Dylan's uh, birthday. I can't remember what birthday, but... Uh... Chris Christofferson, the American retired country singer, songwriter, and actor, needs little introduction. With a career spanning decades, he's been the creative force behind some of the most iconic country songs of our time. And over his impressive career, Chris has also lived in some stunning homes. Most notably has got to be his stunning ranch in Northern California, which spans over 500 acres. Not to mention he and his wife also own property in beautiful Hawaii. In 1985, Chris Christopherson joined fellow country artists Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson, and Johnny Cash, informing the legendary country music supergroup The Highwaymen. Together, they championed the outlaw country music movement, steering clear of the traditional Nashville country music machine and choosing to focus on independent songwriting and producing. But what you might not know is that beyond the spotlight and the stage, Chris Christopherson possesses a remarkable connection to the land. His Northern California ranch, a sprawling 557-acre oceanfront property located just outside Elk, about three hours north of San Francisco, has recently made headlines. This extraordinary unspooled property has been listed for $17.2 million in August 2023, and listings show it as some of California's most pristine coastline. This breathtaking sanctuary is poised to offer a new owner not just a piece of California's most pristine coastline, but a piece of history, and a portal into the world of one of the music industry's legends. Chris first acquired this ranch in 1980, and over the past four decades, it's played host to a unique blend of creativity and inspiration. Originally developed in the 1800s as a dairy farm and creamery, the ranch still features some of the original structures. Among these, a 2,400 square foot barn served as a vacation house for Chris and his wife. In addition, there's a 1900 square foot four bedroom ranch house, a dairy barn and a feed barn, all giving off an old world type of vibe. Beyond the roadhouse, an enchanting discovery awaits with the Devil's Basin and over a mile of ocean frontage, making it a pristine coastal property. Due to its size and unique location, there's potential for the land to be subdivided or even expanded upon. If you happen to be a fan of Karate Kid 3, you might recognize this breathtaking coastal stretch from days gone by. The property's natural beauty is breathtaking. It comprises 300 acres of open pasture and 250 acres of forest land adorned with old growth redwood and fir trees. Justin Nadeau of Mendo Sotheby's International Realty, the real estate expert handling the sale, said, I grew up here and this property in a lot of ways is steeped in history. Nobody has seen a property like this one come to market. As Chris Christofferson and his wife Lisa Myers have made their primary residence in their home in Hawaii, they've decided that the time has come to let go of this charity. California retreat. Chris's Northern California ranch is more than a piece of real estate. It's a slice of history, a sanctuary of natural beauty, and a testament to the artist's connection to the land. With its rich past and panoramic ocean views, it's not just a property for sale. It's an embodiment of a unique way of life, a page in the story of music and culture. As time has passed and Chris Christofferson's illustrious career winds down, he's actually embraced a different kind of spotlight. While international touring may no longer be in the cards, he's found a new groove in the island life, living in Maui, Hawaii. Chris frequently joins forces with local musicians for unannounced shows, creating intimate musical moments that catch both visitors and residents by surprise. Local journalist Tad Bartimus once noted the curious reactions of tourists who would stumble upon Chris's performances. There was one such moment when a tourist fresh off a tour bus stood in disbelief, looking at Chris for a good 10 minutes before turning to his wife saying, no, that's not him. What would he be doing out here in this wilderness? In the midst of his island existence, Chris faced a health scare in 2014 that would have silenced any songwriter. Doctors initially treated him for dementia only to discover that he was in fact battling Lyme disease. Although his health has improved since then, he still contends with occasional memory lapses. Thankfully, I haven't lost the songs, Chris remarks. His enduring love for music is showing. In his island haven, he continues to 
to relish long walks alongside his wife Lisa. I want to stay right where I am which is on an island with no neighbors and 180 degrees of empty horizon. It's a beautiful view. Well, that wraps up today's video looking into the life and homes of Chris Christopherson, but before you head out, answer this question for me. How would you like to live on a coastal paradise with no neighbors? Would you like it? Why or why not? Let me know down in the comments and stay tuned for more million dollar house tours of your favorite stars. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me over on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and if you want to see some more beautiful homes before you go, then stay tuned for this look into the homes of Barbara Streisand. Bye! Few artists have resonated across generations like Neil Diamond has. With over 130 million records sold worldwide, he's not just an American icon, but a global phenomenon. From Cracklin' Rosie to the Boston Red Sox's anthem, Sweet Caroline, Diamond's melodies have been a fixture in the musical landscape for decades. While Diamond's illustrious career boasts 10 number one singles in the US Billboard Hot 100, his recognition isn't just from the charts. He's a member of the Songwriters Hall of Fame since 1984, a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee as of 2011, and the recipient of the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award in 2018. Even as he stepped back from touring in 2018 after a Parkinson's disease diagnosis, Diamond's passion for music remained undimmed. He promised to continue writing, recording, and nurturing new projects. Given his storied career and influence, it's fitting that Diamond chose a home that's as timeless as his music. Located in the plush precincts of Encino Bluffs, Malibu, Diamond bought a magnificent beachside home back in 2017 for $7.25 million. Overlooking a private cove in the small community of Blue Well Estates, just off Pacific Coast Highway, the five-bedroom, seven-bath estate was originally priced at $7.495 million. This this area is no stranger to celebrities, having attracted names from Daryl Hannah to Nicholas Cage. Built in 1996, the 4,692-square-foot residence embodies the quintessential California indoor-outdoor aesthetic. Its design celebrates the state's natural beauty with walls of glass, ensuring that the radiant Malibu sunlight illuminates every corner. As one steps into Neil Diamond's Malibu home, one can feel the opulence and true warmth of home at once. The entrance, bathed in the radiant California sun, provides a taste of the design marvels that await inside. Serving as the heart of the home, the great room embodies open, spaced, luxury. Perfect for hosting, it's easy to imagine Diamond entertaining guests in here, with his timeless tracks playing in the background. The spaciousness allows for both intimate corners and grand gatherings. Neil's gourmet kitchen, from whipping up quick snacks to preparing elaborate feasts, this space marries functionality with aesthetic elegance. Adjacent to the kitchen is the formal dining room. Overlooking the azure waters of Malibu, meals here are transformed into memorable experiences. The backdrop of the ocean combined with Neil's probable choice of ambient music would make every supper feel like a special event. The master suite. Well, this room offers more than just a place to rest. The dramatic ocean views from the sanctuary ensure that waking up feels like a daily rendezvous with paradise. Beyond the master suite, four additional bedrooms. Each come with their own ensuite baths. Each room is a personal haven, offering guests both comfort and luxury with views that compete with the world's finest resorts. The home's exterior spaces are equally impressive. This spacious patio is versatile, suitable for a tranquil morning coffee or a bustling evening soiree. Adjacent is the barbecue area, ensuring that gatherings have a touch of grilled perfection. The infinity pool blending seamlessly with the ocean beyond is a testament to architectural ingenuity. Next to it, the spa provides a cozy corner for relaxation all against the backdrop of Malibu's amazing sunsets. The ultimate luxury for any beachside property, direct access to the sand, means that Diamond has an ever accessible escape route to serenity. Morning jogs, sunbathing, or twilight walks, the beach is his 
private playground. Neil Diamond's Malibu home isn't just a residence. It's a masterpiece that stands as a testament to a life lived grandly, much like his music career. Every room, every amenity sings a song of luxury, making this house a gem on the Malibu coast. Well, that brings us to the end of today's house tour. Answer this question for me before we go. While lounging at an impressive beach mansion like this one, which Neil Diamond tune would you want to play in the background? Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel.